The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat is a book written by neurologist Oliver Sacks, published in 1985. It is a collection of clinical case studies that explores various neurological disorders and their impact on human perception, cognition, and behavior. Through detailed accounts of his patients, Sachs provides a profound and compassionate examination of the human mind's intricacies and the ways in which it can be disrupted. The book begins with the eponymous case study focusing on Dr. P, a talented musician who experiences visual agnosia, a condition in which he is unable to recognize familiar objects, including his own wife. Dr. P's perception is severely distorted, and he relies on compensatory strategies, such as using music to guide his interactions with the world. This case sets the tone for the subsequent chapters, each of which delves into a different neurological disorder and its profound effects. Sachs introduces us to individuals with conditions like amnesia, aphasia, Tourette's syndrome, and autism, among others. He explores the inner lives and experiences of his patients, delving into the complexities of their conditions and the unique ways in which they navigate their world. Through these narratives, Sachs emphasizes the inherent humanity and individuality of each person, challenging the reader's preconceived notions of what it means to be normal. One poignant case study revolves around Jimmy G, a man who has been afflicted with severe amnesia since the age of 19. Jimmy lives in a perpetual present, unable to retain any new memories, and only holding on to fragments of his past. Sachs examines the profound implications of memory loss on one's identity, emphasizing the role of memory in shaping our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Another remarkable case study centers on Dr. Sachs' encounter with Witty Tiki Ray, a man suffering from Tourette's syndrome. Witty Tiki Ray is plagued by uncontrollable tics and involuntary vocalizations, which have a disruptive impact on his social interactions. Through Ray's story, Sachs sheds light on the societal stigmatization faced by individuals with neurological disorders and calls for greater empathy and understanding. Sachs also explores the concept of neuroplasticity through cases like the twins John and Michael, who have severe intellectual disabilities but exhibit remarkable artistic talent. By showcasing their artistic abilities and examining the brain's capacity for adaptation, Sachs challenges the traditional view of intelligence and emphasizes the unique strengths that can emerge even in the face of significant cognitive impairments. Throughout the book, Sachs combines his scientific expertise with a profound sense of empathy and respect for his patients. He recognizes the individuality of each person and celebrates their resilience, highlighting the importance of human connection and understanding in the face of neurological diversity. Sachs' writing is engaging and accessible, allowing readers to delve into the intricacies of the human mind without overwhelming them with technical jargon. The man who mistook his wife for a hat serves as a testament to the complex and fragile nature of the human brain. It challenges our understanding of normality and provides a deeper appreciation for the incredible diversity of human experiences. By sharing these captivating case studies, Sachs invites readers to explore the profound impact of neurological disorders on individuals and society as a whole ultimately urging us to approach those with differences in a spirit of compassion and acceptance.